Today we're on board the Dale 34 Open and we've stopped here briefly in beautiful Dale Harbour where the company was founded to tell you a bit more about hull number one, the very first model in this new lineup. This first boat's been bought by a customer of Dale's who lives in Barcelona and he'll be, he'll be using the boat there, they'll be shipping it out next week. And you can see why he's chosen the arrangement he has. This is a boat very much set up for life in the sun and for entertaining. I mean, uh, Dale can put a hard top on. There's a classic version of this boat also, but this is, an, this is the open version. Uh, so you get maximum exposure to the sun. And there's loads of seating too behind me. There's a chaise long. Just in front of me here, there's a run of L-shaped seating. And behind in the more open section, there's another large run of L-shaped seating. This boat is coded for 10 people and unusually every one of those 10 people could be sitting down at the same time on board this 34 foot boat which feels, despite the amount of seating, very open and very spacious. So from this view you get a, a pretty good idea of just how much deck there is. And right here uh, in the uh, sole of the aft cockpit there's an enormous hatch opening onto the engine room and I think it's worth showing you that. Uh, there's a lot of space down here, you've got easy access uh, to both fuel tanks the fresh water tank, battery banks, stern thruster right to the aft there and uh, for daily service checks you've got your strainers, dipsticks and as well as being there being quite a lot of room between the engines you can also get outboard of them which is let's face it pretty impressive on a boat of this size. And one of the things I quite like about this boat uh, and a thing that will help spare a few blushes in its lifetime are these really really chunky rubberized rubbing strakes here that will uh, definitely take a few knocks over their lifetime but also save your gel coat from those inevitable scratches you get in the marina and um, and just because there's a lot of deck space inboard it doesn't mean you don't get uh, also considerable side decks they are at least 10 inches wide but you also get quite high bulwarks and very safe high guardrails also Now for a 34 foot boat, as I've already mentioned, uh, on deck, you get quite a good appreciation of uh, space down below. It doesn't at all feel cramped or, or cubby hole like. Uh, the light comes in through these three overhead skylights above me, the foremost of which opens. And there's no massive hull windows as I've become the fashion of late, but there are a couple of opening ports. There's one by the galley and there's one in the heads. The owner here has chosen a U-shaped seating arrangement which you can see right here. Uh, you could also have a forward cabin if you like that was closed off by a door. That's uh, the completely bespoke nature of these Dale craft. You really can fiddle with the interior as much or as little as you like. The owner of this boat has chosen to have his galley down but you can also have it up on deck if you like. Uh, but when it is down you actually get a quite a lot of usable worktop space especially with the sink lid oh, with the sink lid on. And the sink itself is worth mentioning because it's a bugbear of mine. Usually on boats you get these tiny apologetic sinks, but this one is pretty big and you can actually do some dishes in it without getting water everywhere. Uh, just through here is the mid cabin, which will be used as the primary berth on this boat. Um, there's a pretty wide double berth uh, that offers good uh, length. Uh, there's no cupboards in there for storage, but there are some uh, storage points underneath the berth. But again, if you want them, uh, Dale will happily build them for you. This boat's fitted with uh, twin 260 horsepower Yamaha diesels on stern drives and they give them some pretty punchy performance because if you just knock it into gear and put the throttles down all the way in a few seconds you feel the turbos kick in then in 10 seconds you're running at 20 knots 5 more seconds you're running at 30 knots and after 18 seconds you're flat out at about 35 knots the hull on this boat is uh, basically, it's a brand new hull and it's a stretched version of the Dale 23 which we tested last year. And we got a bit excited about the Dale 23 because its cornering was exceptional, almost unlike anything we'd ever tested before. And it's much the same on this boat, it's remarkable if you just flick the boat into these turns and it really flings you around. And you've got to be careful if you're not ready for it, it can be quite shocking but it's a lot of fun and it feels like it's turning almost in its own boat length. It really is remarkable handling out on the water. 